I'm starting a new renovation project and it happens to be my best friend, Cassie. We did her downstairs last year. We're now tackling her master suite, which hasn't changed in 20 years. I'm heading into my third trimester of pregnancy, so I wanna get going on this project before the baby arrives. When I get home, I'm gonna send you some photos of some designs that I pulled and let me know what, what you like and don't like. Okay, perfect. I'm so thankful that we're doing this because I love downstairs so much that I go upstairs and I feel like I'm in someone else's house. Right? It does not go together. It's so true. They don't match at all no. anymore. I'm really ready to make it my own. Oh what no. What is that? Oh my God, there's a, a beehive oh in there. Oh my God, Holy they're going down. <laughs> Where do we go? You guys. Oh my God, I heard it. Oh my God, there's like thousands. <laughs> Can we run in the house? Yeah. Shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. Ah! <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, the kitchen, my favorite part. So what does your mom think of everything that we did? Oh, she loves it. Have you had any male callers over? <laughs> had a glass of wine and enjoyed the view? <gasps> There's been one <laughs> or two. Right. Well, let's go check out the bathroom. Yes. I must say it hasn't changed a bit. <gasps> Not one <laughs> bit, actually. Look at the sink doesn't work. Oh, there you go. I can't even brush my teeth with that. That's it? Yeah. I don't use a shower because it's a bathtub. That's sad. I think it's awful. All I do in here is get my makeup ready because the vanity is large. Closet is horrendous. It's so small that I had to create. You've seen my built-in closet that I had to create, right? Yes. So oh. for design, mm -hmm. are you thinking you want to still carry the California contemporary look that we have going downstairs? Or are you thinking you want to do something different? I definitely want the upstairs to look like it goes with the downstairs. Perfect. I know you just spent all the money downstairs and I, I feel bad even asking, but what's your budget up here? I have $30,000 to do this and I really don't have a lot of wiggle room. I can make that happen. I have a lot of ideas. I say we tear down these walls right here. Okay. We extend this wall out. We will have a double vanity, a his and hers. <laughs> we do a large walk-in shower. We create a makeup vanity, which I know you're gonna awesome. use. Awesome, yes. And I think that'll look beautiful. We create a huge walk-in closet, an L shape, extend the closet into the linen closet that's in the hallway, if you're okay to give that up. If that means I get a larger closet for my clothes, we can lose the linen closet. And then we will get rid of that organizer and then we will switch the bed so the bed has this amazing city light view, extend the nice hardwood flooring. And in order to give you some privacy, we're gonna have to create some type of pocket door system. That way we can close this off and the master bathroom can be its own feature. Wow. Can we really do all of that in here? Yes. The only unknowns for me currently mm -hmm. are gonna be, we're gonna have to raise this up and I'm not sure if it's load bearing or not. Okay. That way we can make the ceiling all one height. Also not sure the exact cost implications of shifting this wall over, but okay. let's get Izzy out this week and Perfect. let's get it demoed. Perfect. It can actually be really tricky designing for your friends, especially your best friend. I just want everything to be perfect for her. When we did her downstairs, it turns out she has really good, expensive taste. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this budget, but still get her exactly what she wants. Are we keeping this? Because I move so often, I'm constantly purging. Wait, you what need, are you yelling about in here? You need to have a good purging session. 100%. Like, because I move so often, I always get rid of things, but this, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't on. think this is even mine. Cassie has a lot of stuff. I always tell clients that renovation is a great time to pare things down and only bring back in what you actually use and love. Do you need the foot massager? I bought that for my mom for Mother's Day when we were like 12. <laughs> well, for now, we just have to get all of this stuff out so the crew can get to work. There you go. First things first, the big question is, are these walls load bearing? All right, let's all right, check it out. Okay, this is great. <laughs> what? Oh. This is fantastic. This here is a truss system, which means there's a lot of supporting beams in the attic. Okay. So this wall we could push up and we could get rid of that wall too. Whew. That is awesome. great news. Now, what about the sink? Have you ever used this? It's probably been like over 10, 12 years. Okay, so hopefully it's just the faucet. That thing is nasty, Cassie. <laughs> It's awful. This is all corroded. <gasps> we have water. Oh, thank God. Is this? Oh, 
Oh. Oh, look at that. It's just your valve stem. Okay. Um, just the faucet. We've got it. Oh. <laughs> Izzy, you oh, saved the day. Yeah. Oh. oh Oh, grand. And look at this big bench you have oh, right I here. I love it. Oh, yeah. <gasps> okay, so I brought materials. I wanted to go with a look, obviously, that ties in the downstairs to the upstairs. That way it's all cohesive. So I know you wanted an all white kitchen downstairs, which I'm happy we didn't do. I love my kitchen. But I'm going to give you an all white bathroom upstairs. I'll take that. Okay. I did Cassie's kitchen gray and white because it was a large space and it could really handle dark colors. Also, it tied in nicely with the furniture in her dining room and living room. In the bathroom though, because it's a smaller space, I want to do all white so it feels spa-like and open. I'm thinking we do a nice modern flat panel cabinet. Okay, perfect. White quartz counters. Oh, it would look cool. really nice. <gasps> it's black hardware. I like that. I like that it adds that little bit more masculine touch so it's not too overly girly, especially if it's all white. Yes, I'm, so just, I love I'm that. thinking about your future husband. Perfect, he'll appreciate that. Yeah, he might not want too much breasts, so. <laughs> I was thinking of this for flooring, okay. but instead of these big pieces, I thought we could cut it into like a three by 15 and going in a herringbone pattern. Love that. And now tiles. We could do a lot of different options with these. We could do like a straight set. We could do a herringbone. I really love marble. You know, marble is like my favorite. My, yes. I do worry though about being too matchy matchy with the kitchen because we did the herringbone marble backsplash. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I did bring another option. A cement tile. We could do the wall that just has your shower head and do the rest like an oversized subway. But I just feel like we have to do a little bit more wow. Something a little bit more impressive and I don't want it to go too trendy. So you want a look that goes with the downstairs but not too matchy matchy and is going to stay in style but still a wow factor. Exactly. Okay. I think, <laughs> I think we should go shopping together. Okay. Because there's so many options and you might be surprised with what you fall in love with. Yeah, let's do that. That's perfect. But you're good to go with all this? This I love. I'm so thankful that we've replaced those tiles because now it really truly does look like one marble slab and it is stunning. Okay, are you ready for this? Goodbye guest room, hello nursery. Right, and you're about to tell me that you've got loads of plans already set. Now it really feels like, holy crap, like we were having a baby. Soon. Baby's coming in hot. Yeah, baby's coming in hot. I think what would be really nice is if we keep with the same look of the house Kind of like the boho vibe. I would love a dream catcher. A dream catcher over the crib with like stars and moons. Color wise. Um, well, we should add some color. I right? was thinking like white with a hint of wood. Or some color with a hint of blue. Well, I already found a modern crib and a comfy glider that are both white, but we can add decorative pillows and lots of layers of rugs like we white have pillows? in the. Uh, not white pillows. The Good. pillows will add a little color. Good. What sort of color? Like gray. You know, I don't really like color. You're not gonna sleep in here. Oh, yeah, I spent a lot of time here. This is where we changing yeah, yeah, diapers. I probably time. will be sleeping in here. <laughs> yeah, like, you probably will be. Like... I'm kind of nervous. I think I'm more nervous than you. But think about it, we're well prepared. We've got four between us. Yeah. Different ages. We're gonna have five kids. It's a lot of kids. What's five? Well, at least one of us isn't nervous. What's six? I'm nervous. Oh, seven. <laughs> no, no, we're done. <laughs> Home stretch, the bathroom is all coming along. Almost there. And the closet, oh my gosh. I can't wait to get all my stuff in here. It's time for a clean out. Cassie's not a hoarder. She's just really sentimental and she has a lot of stuff. It's now or never. You're gonna have to get rid of most of this stuff, Cassie. <sighs> it's time for a closet clean out. So while we were in there, I got a little dressed up. Oh my and god! I was wondering why we are saving all. This is our tassel from 2001. <laughs> By the way, I love that jacket, and I get so many compliments on it. Ooh, we are oh not getting rid of my favorite faux leopard jacket. <laughs> 
that will retire the fur. It can go in the closet. God, I love that thing. This is a good start. Yeah, what do we have in there again? No, just leave it up. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my We're God. out of here. <laughs> This she will love. Oh yeah, the layers. She's all about the layers. The upstairs has just still felt like Cassie's mom's house. And I think that when she walks into this bedroom for the first time, I think she's gonna be blown away. Purses are all ready. She has this nice mirror here to get ready for her hot dates. I must admit, I'm a little jealous of your bedroom now. Oh my gosh. Christina, this is unbelievable. I love all the textures and layers. I'm really glad that you carried the same flooring downstairs up through the upstairs into the bedroom. It looks so cohesive. Yes. But the room feels bigger totally. because we got rid of that closet. Oh my God. I didn't realize how much that closet was like making the room so stuffy. And Cassie, I mean, who knew that you had a view that was that like spectacular? With the bed frame facing the door, I never got to enjoy it like this. Come on into your bathroom. Oh my God, Christina. I'm blown away. You never cease to amaze me when it comes to this stuff. And it has that whole California contemporary vibe. It's so Cassie. It is the perfect spot for you to get ready and enjoy yourself. And you have his and her vanity here. So there's gonna be a strapping young man brushing his teeth next to you soon. Cassie met someone. I did. How's James? Oh, he's so good. We're having so much fun. Aren't you glad we did those double sinks? Literally the day we finished is the day we met. Can you believe that? I love him. I can't wait to be a godmother to their babies. Oh my God. Okay, pump the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> we got a few steps first. And the shower, we had the little mishap with the tile, but at the end of the day, like when I walk in, all I see are slabs. Like no, it, it, it looks like slabs. This is beautiful. I'm so glad we went with this. And I'm so jealous of your makeup vanity. It really is a showpiece. It has so many drawers. I can hide everything. I don't have to have it cluttered on top of the counter. And then this unbelievable closet. Oh my God. It looks really nice. Thank you so much for helping me get organized. I actually love that it's all open like this because it's kind of like Cassie's dressing room. It totally is. And I love it so much. I've never seen it done like this before. And what's nice is before you had no privacy, the wall was open to like way over here. And now you just shut them out and like, bye, sweetie, I gotta get ready real quick. Now your whole house flows together so nicely. It's not mismatched anymore. It's just perfect. Thank you so much. Love you.